Um, it might be recording my audio. It might not be. If you're seeing this video, it means it did. Uh, the quest I have available is Destination Skelliger. We ain't doing that. We are a witcher. We got to find a witcher contract. These are all pretty high level for me, uh, like 10 levels above. Uh, but never mind. We're going to do one. Let's talk to Kurt Dysart and find out about these doors that are slamming shut. It sounds like a, a legendary idea. You can see there the little red skull in the corner uh, means I'm going to die, probably. I don't know. Uh, who knows how this works? Uh, obviously, The Witcher 3 is very lore-friendly. Uh, Geralt often just sort of jumps about the city uh, in Novigrad in the books. I'm sure if you've read them, you'll know that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just classic Geralt. Gonna run past these merchants here. Get around these townsmen. I don't... The, the townsfolk around here all have uh, some of the silliest haircuts. I don't know what it was about the medieval times that made everyone uh, really fond of the bowl cut. I mean, the Beatles hadn't even been invented yet. Uh, and still the bowl cut was popular. Uh, let's take a shortcut across this river. Mm -mm -mm, delicious polluted water. Uh, I live near the River Thames in London and uh, that is a pretty damn polluted river. If I did that in real life, like just decided, oh, I'll cut across this river here uh, by taking a little dip, uh, I would probably just die. Uh, uh, not immediately, potentially immediately. Who knows? There could be sea lizards in the Thames. No one really knows for sure. Let's go, little boy. He's scared because I'm doing a run. Uh, cardiovascular exercise. A big fear for the people of Novigrad. I believe that was in the books as well. All of these chaps lingering around. What, who's this guy? Poor townswoman. I mean, what's what's so uh, poor about her? She got a sad life, probably. She's a townswoman in the Witcher world. Not a good place to be. Back again, Rivian trap. Uh, it's the first time I've seen you, mate. But all right. Yes. Yes. Count Kurt Dysart. All these accounts. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. Not any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? I got a wolf medallion, bruv. Pretty fucking obvious. School of the wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. So his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. That is Ghost very to unfortunate. The seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Uh, I mean, pay me some money. Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already? But you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Navigrad and he's off his head in minute. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Garrett's off his tits, mate. Right. Let's always, always uh, go in high when you're doing a negotiation. Uh, just... 360. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. So he reckons that's not too far off. So let's go down to 340. Oh, he's still. No, I'm afraid that's too much. No, no. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. It's kind of a guessing game, this. You just sort of have to lower it until he says yes. Yes. There you go. 325. Little gold coins. Joins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. So this fella reckons no other house uh, in Novigrad 
No other house in Novigrad is going to have uh, cracks in the walls. That is good to know. Let's get over there. As you can see, I've got my fancy uh, Griffin School Witcher armor on. It means I am a professional. Get over this table here. That's how I go around uh, local weather spoons. Right, 826 miles away. That's quite far. Right, let's go. I don't know if it's meters. It's like steps. A lot of games just say like meters or something to keep it more realistic. But um, this one's gone with steps, which is, I suppose, more reasonable for a video game because, you know, it's all to scale, isn't it? You can't just say it's meters because it's uh, not real world measurements. Right. Come on, Roach. Let's go. We are going to ride there on our little horsey. Ultimate Immersion Simulator. Get these uh, temple cards out of the way. Geralt don't give a fuck. Da -da 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 -da. Can't gallop in the city, unfortunately. You can just do this little uh, canter. But here we go. We're now. We're out. We're out on the bridges. Let's go. Come on, Geralt. Da -da -da -da. You know what? I can't be bothered to ride all the way there. It's somewhat too far. Let's see if there's a nearby signpost. Uh, this is also very law friendly of course this is the most face most faithful adaptation of the Witcher there has ever been uh, according to uh, smarty pants big boy gamer types uh, on reddit so in the Witcher TV show if there is not teleporting via signpost uh, we know it's gone wrong somewhere and it's probably uh, SJW's fault uh, and that is that is solid truth I only tell the truth about the Witcher Come on, Roach. Teleporting horse. Also very classic, uh, law-friendly. Da-da! Could be a show jumper. Give up this life of monster hunting. It's going to be amazing. God, got to gallop forever just to get to this little house. Why did he buy a house so far away from the sea? It better be good when I get there. Oh, it's got a spooker in it, so who knows? Could be, could be bad. So this is the haunted house. Ooh, the haunted house, spooky, spook town. Doesn't look very well kept. This fella. I mean, I've been here two seconds. It doesn't seem very haunted so far. Bit dark. Uh, of course, in the Witcher lore, Geralt always has to use a fire torch because he can't see just on his own in the dark. Uh, that was a little the shake there. Shaking, but a spectre would have attacked me already. True. Now, this setup, the the I think the best haunted house setup ever done in a video game. Uh, if you're familiar with it, is Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines. I mean, it's it's un unparalleled so far, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, truly spooky little uh, haunted house level quite early on in the game. In that game. Um, the game is janky as fuck. It's quite old, um, if you were ever thinking about playing it. Uh, but they are coming out with a sequel. Uh, this year, maybe? Probably maybe next year? I don't know. There's been some footage for it. It looks all right. Now, I'm just going to loot all this stuff, because, uh, I mean, 325 that we negotiated for is all right. But we can always sell alchemy paste to just some bloke. And that would net us some money. Which has got to pay the bills somehow. Little stale loaves of bread don't pay for themselves. Right, we've got to use our witcher senses. There's something in there. Something in here. It's not something in here, bruv. Right. Oh, this cracky means. Right, we'll use our little magic. Whoosh. There we go. Oh, we're in a little cave now. This is where it could all no, go wrong for us. Uh, looks like old elven ruins, mate. Those spooky elves. It's probably a uh, mage gone mental. Hmm. Looks like a journal. You know who keeps journals, don't you? Serrano, or as I like to call him, Samuel Peeps. 
When dealing with the beings of this nature, it's most vital to achieve equilibrium between giving free rein to its will and obstructing it with the fetters of servitude. The sagacious elementalist who has tamed a magic minion should not heed the sweet yet pernicious urge to unbind the being, for only harm will come of it. Wailing and gnashing of teeth will be the only results. Likewise, he who tightens his servant's yoke overmuch will gain nothing from it, for his enchanted being will be to him dumb and dull as a lump of earth. The key is to prepare a proper magic barrier, one whose effectiveness shall be backed by a crystal of power, the crystal of the utmost importance. If it should break, the barrier shall fail. Yet worry not overmuch, for neither axe nor blade can harm it. A barrier thus secured shall serve as the minion's prisoner, without unduly hindering its powers. The ability to erect it properly, however, demands a high level of proficiency, the kind of no mere superficial study or practice can provide. The bunglers and ne'er-do-wells of our profession need not apply. Right. Sounds suitably pompous. Must have Ducas make a clean copy of the first draft. Prepare it for publication. Wonder where that Claude is. I sent him out for cheese and ink ages ago. So this guy's doing some sort of experiments. He's summoning some magic creatures. I'm gonna have to kill it. Don't fall off there. Geralt has very weak knees in this game. Uh, I don't know how law friendly that is. He can't jump off a tiny little uh, ledge without just being dead. Now, what's this Not here? Of any ordinary plant, must be magic. I got magic oh, trees as well now. Pretty powerful too. Uh -oh. Gotta go deeper. Need to open the passage somehow. Gotta go deeper. We have to go deeper, mate. How do we do it? How do we get deeper? I don't want to jump off these ledges. Right, we'll use our little potion. We'll get our cat's eyes out. Help us see in the dark. Gonna jump down here. Ooh. Oh, water. There we go. That's a good sty. Good sty? Good start. <laughs> Gotta be something up here. A little lever. Imagine being the bloke who owned this lab, and then you have Something to like, right. you know, you gotta go pull this lever every time you want to go in your lab, and you've got to swim in this little filthy cold water, probably. Not a good time. Not a good time. Luckily for me, I can swim at full speed in full armor with two swords on my back, because that's just normal. Right, here's that magic barrier he was talking about. Should we uh managed to break its magic bonds? A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around. That would have been good. So he's almost broken his magic bond, but he hasn't quite. Ceiling would have caved in if not for this sword. Oh dear. I sense this is gonna go wrong. Do I have the right oils for this? Now that's the good question. I've made some alchemy stuff. But it's hard to find the recipes sometimes. I don't know why it's so difficult. I guess you have to buy them off uh, merchants and stuff. Right, I've got elemental oil, so that's a good start. Should we look in our bestiary? We'll do some witcher work. Here we go. Let's learn about elementals. Earth elementals, they are vulnerable against the dimeritium bomb. Don't have one of them. Elemental oil, so... We're doing as good as we can, uh, but elementals in this game are actually pretty easy to fight because ultimately um, they're really slow and there's only ever really one of them at a time. Uh, I've wrecked his little magic thing, which was just suggested to be a bad idea. Better get the Quen sign up. I like that he's got a little name, the Razarazane. Uh, oh dear, I don't appear to be doing a lot of damage. And it's pitch black, of course, why not? Uh, we should probably just get the torque back out. Uh, you can't block elemental attacks. It does not going to hinder me uh, in any way, really. So... Better than using potions all the time. Oh! I don't appear to be doing a lot of damage. Something up with my sword. 
just a rubbish naff sword. Oh dear. See what I mean? He's pretty easy to fight. Shall I just... Can I trick him and just have him break this support beam? Because that would be an easy way to do it. Surely. Can't use my Witcher senses. I have to find it on my own. I'll just skirt around the room until he does it. But if he tears the room down, will I just die? These are the good questions. How much thought did CD Projekt put into this fight? Looks like he already wrecked the support beams. Uh, and nothing happened. So I guess we're just having a fight then. Come on, mate. Let's have a ruck. Yeah, get that, gotta get that Quen sign up. It basically makes you invincible when you're fighting slow one-on-one -on -one opponents like this. Because, I mean, even if he whacks you, you're doing all right, you know? I've got a swallow and stuff as well, so I'm alright. I'm doing okay. Got a few uh, enhanced thunderbolt potions. This is exactly how I uh, picture Gary fighting in the books, by the way. Just sort of uh, doing little uh, little hops around, you know. He's gonna have like knackered knees when he's older. Uh, which actually, I think he might do <laughs> in the books, like. It's like, oh, your joints have wrecked Geralt because you, all you do is skirt about monsters like a nutter. There we go. He's not too bad to fight. It's just going to take a little while because uh, we're like 10 levels too low to be fighting him, but it's not so bad. I fought one the other day. I was like level 6 or something, and he was the... Elementals on level 22. It took forever, but I won. Because, uh, as I say, Elemental was pretty easy to fight. One of the easier enemies in the game. Quite predictable attack patterns. You don't have to be too careful like, like that if he gets you. Not a big deal. Not the end of the world. I can't do this now. Oh, God. So I can't. I can't hit him with two hands because uh, I had a, my torch in one hand. Right, we'll use the cat potion then. Oh! See, the problem with having to rely on the cat potion is that uh, I've only got two uh, and now I've only got one. So once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, and the fight could last a little while, so... We're going to be doing some of this in the dark by the looks of it. It does last a little while. So much for a haunted blooming house. Who? Why did no one notice this? Found it pretty quick. I mean, even if he did break out, what's he gonna do? Like he would have broken out, smashed these little support beams, and brought the roof down on himself. My work here could have been done very quickly. Now you see, this is what I mean. I've got no more cat potions now. Um, I can whack some elemental oil back on. This is probably one of the mechanics in the game that I'm not the biggest fan of, is adding these oils. Because um, they don't last for a set amount of time. They last for a set amount of hits. Uh, which is all right but if you exceed that number of hits you've got to put it back on and like you don't run out of oil either um, like you can just keep adding it back on but it's just annoying to go back into the menu and do it every time oh god that was a mistake got whacked there time to use swallow i think oh is he actually caving the place in Oh, that's not good. Oh, right, it's because the fight, as the fight goes on, the arena's getting smaller. I see. Stench. Oh, God. He's made of rocks, mate. Nothing smelly about him. As you can see, it's always just uh, fun and games. Just doing a little dance around him. That's it. Get away. And that's it now. We're blind for the rest of the fight. Just sort of 
faffing about in the dark. I can get the torch out, but then I can only do light attacks. I suppose that's the sacrifice I'll have to make to be able to see. do the heavy attacks now. I can do everything else though. I mean, we all saw Lord of the Rings, right? We all saw it. Aragorn, he was doing loads of heavy attacks. Loads of two-handed attacks with a torch and with a sword. So Geralt, just being lazy in my opinion. Use the last of that thunderbolt, why not? Just try and whack him down a bit quicker. Oh god. And that is why it's important to be able to see go. Lost the Quen again. Sort of dance around now until I get the stamina back. I don't know why um, stamina in this game is so lenient. Uh, you know, it just regenerates pretty much constantly. Even if you're doing all this running around and stuff. Uh, if this was Dark Souls, it wouldn't be happening. I'd have been dead already. I've made too many grievous mistakes for a Dark Souls run. This action is not allowed during combat. Excuse me, mate. I was just trying to use my Witcher sign. That is an action that is pretty much exclusively allowed in combat. fan of knocking these rocks down from the roof. Stand behind him there, do some critical damage while he's having a squat. Might seem a bit rude, but he is a big uh, spooky elemental. I wonder whatever happened to the mage. I bet we'd never find out. Oh god! What happened there? One of the rocks must have fallen on my head. go last segment of his life bar now this wasn't so bad oh jesus <laughs> i spoke too soon my sword's messed up too gonna need to take that to the little elf with a japanese man's name later of course no people of color in the witcher universe apart from that one japanese elf According to the big boy gamers, he's the only one allowed, I suppose. Gets quite laggy. Uh, oh, Jesus! Getting killed. This is what happens when you can't see what you do. This is not good. See, it's annoying. Because I can't see. I can't see what I'm supposed to be dodging. Oh god. It gets quite laggy uh, on PS4 when you got a lot of these uh, sort of environmental effects and stuff going on. And it doesn't help obviously that it has to render all these shadows and stuff because the fights in the dark thing. Uh, I don't know what it is about elemental fights in this game. They love putting it in the dark. I think it's just to wind you up. The elemental I fought before was also in pitch black, but it wasn't as bad because it had like green runes and stuff on it, which made it obviously visible in the dark. But this I might just want as well just to be swinging my sword at absolutely nothing. Uh, obviously, top video content coming from me. As per usual, come to be expected on this channel. Uh, nothing but the highest quality. Laggy, uh, almost impossible to see gameplay. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I mean, I might switch out my sword because this one is like doing 22 less damage than it should be. 
now. Um, I've got a backup sword. I've got a couple of backup swords, really. Uh, this one is my main one because I mean, it does the most damage apart from the one I'm using. So let's put some oils on here. Do I have the dimeritium bomb? No, I don't. I've got three bombs. I never really use bombs in uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt uh, for PS4 and uh, <laughs> Xbox <laughs> um, and PC, of course. Yeah, I never really use them. Uh, alchemy builds have never been my thing. There we go. A bit more damage now. Look at all those effects! Look how laggy it is! Oh my goodness. Oh no. So if the audio is uh, even recording, it's going to be interesting to see if the sound balance is there. Because obviously, I can't hear what you're hearing if you're even hearing anything. Until I watch it back. Uh, and by then it's too late really to adjust. Which is why live streams are easier, bro. Oh god. I've got one swallow potion left. Should I use it? I mean, why not at this point? I had a like, level 25 sword that I was fighting with uh, and not whatever rubbish gear I've got now. Still, we should get some pretty decent rewards for doing this. Oh god! That's uh, one of the things about the Wild Hunt that really works for it as a game. Uh, it rewards you for taking these kinds of risky jobs you are willing to go out of your way and try and fight the big monster uh, sort of 10 levels ahead of time you will get more experience uh, you get more experience points the higher the quest level is compared to yours uh, and inversely if you're a total coward and you like skip out on it until you're like over level for the job you basically get no experience at all uh, and the loot is probably rubbish down here there at that point. So, that's alright. The the ideal, really, if you're be playing it normally, you just want to do all the quests that you can that are around your level. Maybe up to four levels removed from you. That tends to be like, because they go different colours, like red missions obviously super hard probably you will not complete them uh, yellow ones you might as well have a gamble at because like this is a yellow one we're doing all right um, if you know what you're doing of course uh, and the white labeled missions are ones that you should have no problems with and then like once they go gray but like, they you might as well not even bother because the rewards are worthless to you at that point but you can always do it for the cash which is uh, Geralt's Sir Parent M.O. Is that all life is to you? Money and monsters? I mean, yeah, bro. If you've played the Wild Hunt, that is basically all it is to you. Or if you've played Monster Hunter, uh, which I believe they did like a crossover. Uh, Capcom convinced CD Projekt Red to give them... Uh, <laughs> the rights to use the Geralt character model or whatever in um, Monster Hunter World. Um, Monster Hunter World, pretty fun game. A bit too grindy for my liking. I mean, I do, I've always felt that about the Monster Hunter series. It's okay, uh, but like after a while, you literally are just doing the same thing 30 times in a row to get all the bits of the one monster that you want uh, which is not the best and it doesn't have, it's got a story but it's not uh, the best not enough to make me want to play it through to the end anyway 
Right, are we we are almost done with this fight by the looks of it. Oh god, don't mess it up now. I can't even see. Can you see? This is so laggy at this stage. All the rocks must have come down. Don't die now. Because of lag. I have a pure ownage moment where I just smash the controller through the TV. But you'll never know if that's the case because uh, I won't be able to upload the content. Oh, come on. This is the part that's really annoying. When you have... There we go. I did it. And the whole game is frozen as a result. <laughs> lag on that. Oh, we'll just let it process. We'll just let it process. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to have a good time. PS4, mate. It can't render all these particle effects. I remember when PS4 first came out and they released that really stupid game, uh, Knack, I think it was. Um, that was literally just like particle effect simulator the game. Uh, trying to shaft their technology. But is that good technology? Is it? There we go. Finally, we're back in the world of uh, at least 30 FPS. Let's see what we got. Powdered monster tissue. Don't know how he got that. Glyph of Quen. Always lovely. Uh, elemental essence. Earth elemental mutagen. Earth elemental trophy. And cleaver hood. Let's have a look at that sword. See if it's any good. Uh, it's not even as good as the one I've got now. Bit disappointed, to be honest. Is there any more loot around here that would make this worth having done? I bet there isn't. I'll be very sad. <laughs> There's no loot in here. No! The last elemental I fought like that, I went into a little secret room and there was all sorts of good stuff in there. But here? Nah, none of that. No secret goodies for you. Just have to go home. We'll just have to go home. If this does end up getting uploaded, someone in the comments tell me if I just missed, like, all the best treasure in the game. I'm glad I raided this bloke's cellar. I think he's gonna he's ripped me off there. That was pretty tough for 300 measly little coins. Got some flowers. Good for making potions and stuff. At some point, there we go. Are we going to get a classic Witcher twist? Am I going to come out of here and the bloke's going to be there and he'll be like, Girl, I think that I'm going to kill you so I don't have to pay you my 300 little shiny shekels. Probably not. Seems like a pretty straightforward one. Jolly good. At least there's a signpost outside. Signposts, uh, if you don't know, in Witcher lore, are the secret of Ciri's powers uh, to do the things she does. She just teleport all over the place. Using signposts. Uh, Geralt hates portals, of course. He only travels by magic signpost. You have a certain degree of control over your walking speed. This is true. You've got three running speeds. You've got walking uh, like a baller. You've got jogging around. Uh, and you've got just sort of sprinting. Uh, and for a super advanced mutant, Geralt can't run very far without getting like winded at full speed. I reckon I could beat Geralt in a foot race. Like his normal jog, pretty good. Like, you know, he can keep that pace pretty much for eternity. But then if he does this... You know, he just sort of starts getting knackered. There you see his little yellow bar going down. See how long he can go. How far can he get? Oh, and that's it. We're winded now. Whew. Good little run. So it's not as egregious as uh, if you ever played the original Mass Effect. Uh, back on the original Xbox or PC. Never got a release on PS3, I don't think. Um, yeah, the original Mass Effect, you could run about two feet uh, before you just got knackered uh, and you were meant to be like a super soldier or whatever. So that was pretty deaf. Excuse me for my yawn there. There we go. Get in the pub. See a man about a coin purse. 
Hello, townswoman. We got townswoman creepily looking at this townsman from over here while she eats his stew. Look at all, all the food she's got, yeah? She's got a big book out. Is that the menu? Gordon Ramsay would have a fit. It's huge. Uh, and then you got this bloke who's uh, just sort of, he's got some food there. Looks the same as, uh, as what she's eating. But it looks like it's someone else who's ordered it. And he's just been left sort of with this goblet and, uh, and an apple. Uh, but he does have three empty plates next to him. So maybe he, he's only poor because he spent all his money on bread. Uh, who knows? Anyway, hello fella. Can't smoke inside, mate. It's, it's illegal. It's been illegal for a long time. Yeah. We'll come back for you, mate. Smoking inside, that makes you a monster in my book. Anyway, let's go and get the, uh, off the old count here. I like how this tavern just lets uh, sort of tramps and stuff in, as well as rich people. And this bloke up here. Look, this poor townswoman, she's got a little cup. She's got a nice hat on. But then, like, she's just sort of standing a couple of feet away from this bloke. And this fella's just sitting here on his own. He's poor as well, but he's in a nice area. Maybe the count's down on his luck because he's bought that stupid haunted house. Yeah. I did it. I shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Ooh, that's Earth should we tell him? Trapped in the cellar. Oh, yeah, we'll tell him the truth. just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. Hmm. Far more interesting than a ghost, that certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it a mistake to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Oh, there you go. He's one of the good ones after all. He didn't want to rip us off. Got a bit of a level up there. Cheeky. Level 16. Got a point of uh, abilities available. Oh God. So if we have a look, what kind of build are we going for with Geralt here? Obviously, I'm a big sword man. Uh, not too keen on all the other builds, to be honest. Like the signs and stuff, they've got their place. Uh, the only sign I think really worth having is the delusion bit. Uh, but then I guess some of these could get good later on, but it's just so much effort to get there, you know. Combat stuff is always fun right from the start. So what can I do here? Hmm, undying. When you die, adrenaline points will be consumed to restore it. That's pretty good. Yeah, go on then, we'll have that. Problem is, of course, you've got to equip. Uh, you've got to equip these uh, sorts of abilities now. And I probably should have just invested in these, these core ones. But I mean, who knows? I don't know. You've got to equip abilities, and you only get a certain number of slots. So until you get to the end of the game, you're kind of limited in what kind of things you want to do. Ooh, get out of the way! Right. There you go. That was it. We're gonna have a little just nap here on the uh, on the cobblestones. Very comfortable position. Geralt is actually a Buddhist monk. He can meditate days on end. Uh, drunk bloke. Tavern's in there, fella. Right. Anyway, well that's it for this little test. You join me on my monster hunt. Oh, hello. Old man. Don't look that old. He's going to go stand next to this drunk bloke. Alright, fair enough. Well, that's it for me for now. If you enjoyed this video, if you even saw this video, drop a like and subscribe and all the rest of it. And tell me if you would be interested in seeing more of this sort of thing, if it worked. Uh, and that's it. Bye for now.